What's going on guys? Welcome back to Civilization 6 as Australia. It has been a while uh, since I last recorded this because I went on vacation. So we're back now, but I have no idea what's going on except, you know, I kind of do. Basically our plan is to win a cultural victory. Um, that's not going super well. If you look at, if you look at where Peter is and where I am, it's not exactly a, uh, a fair fight. So, one option is to go to war with him, and we're kind of building up our army so that we may do that. Uh, we've done pretty well. Like, we've built up an army that is somewhat okay, but still, we're not quite there. So, one thing that is going to help us is to get a big navy. And getting a Venetian arsenal will be super helpful in that. In fact, you could even say that that's going to be instrumental in defeating our enemies. Now, we're going to have to go all the way around Africa if we want to get to uh, his some of his cities, but we got to do it. We don't really have a choice. Like, if we don't go after him with everything that we've got, we will definitely 100% lose the game. And uh, that's just not something that I enjoy. I don't like losing that much. I know some of you probably do. If you're, uh, you know, a little bit weird, but I don't, so... We'll be, we'll be going after him pretty damn hard. Uh, we also, yeah, we made the city of Townsville. Completely forgot about that. Interesting name for city, I gotta say. Townsville, not super creative, but okay. Uh, we also stole a whole bunch of great works from um, Brazil. And I think that's not Brazil. I think we actually uh, got some... Or actually a bunch of... Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, hello. 100 gold. Well, how about we make it like 10? Still works, baby. Still works. So, since this is part of the game, I'm just going to go ahead and fully exploit it. Until it doesn't work anymore. And it takes some, like, fidgeting around, but, like, it works. Maybe it'll work with Gandhi as well. Probably not. Oh, actually, it will. Okay. Here you go, Gandhi. I'll give you 10 gold for that. You know, this shouldn't work. Also, like, the great work window itself is, like, kind of bugged out. So, like, they're willing to trade pretty much everything with the exception of, like, their first great work. Sure. Research agreement, baby. Let's do it. Let's, let's see if we can get more of those. I really should have, like, made better work of those uh, research agreements. This is that you never really need them. One gold. One gold will even that deal. Wow. Good job, man. You got me. You got me with that bad trade for me. Anyway. So we're just stealing great works here and there. Uh, no. Sorry, dude. Like, I like you, but I'm not going to give you that deal. Is he still at war? No, he's good now. His city's still healing, but he lost some stuff to Persia. So, like, Persia is going to have to be our first stop on the way to victory. They have a large army, though. It's gonna be, it's gonna be not easy to do this. All right, go. Just keep going. Basically, we wanna map the entire world and see there's something left that I may have missed that would be a nice spot to settle. India made a holy site. Okay. Yeah, funny thing is we don't even have a religion. So, that option is just gone. Look at this beauty. I actually have to say, it's not really that beautiful looking. Like, in real life, it looks real nice, I gotta say. But as far as wonders go in this game, this is not, like, my favorite looking one. I mean, it's cool. It's cool. Hey. We got a boost. Uh, right. So, we can actually switch to, um several things, but we want fascism to be able to, uh, oh, what? 
I think we want fascism to be able to really switch to um, a more aggressive playing style. I don't think I really want to change anything. This one's pretty nice, but it's also expensive. Yeah, let's give it a go. Let's try out the new deal. Because that is a lot of housing, that is a lot of amenities. It'll also cost me a lot of money. But I do feel that it's going to be worth it. Because the amount of amenities that it'll give you is uh, pretty staggering. Alright, so they were making a settler. Alright, so we got the Phoenician arsenal now. So building a navy is going to be our next uh, mission, basically. While also working on our science so that we can get the... Um, the best ships available, basically, because we are far behind Peter. Real far. I mean, he's probably, like, cl way close towards the end than I am. I'm gonna grab, uh, fascism, or totalitarianism, so we can get fascism. Because we do want that most modern of, um... Right. Uh, most modern of, um... Government types, so you really get the best benefit from that. All right, I think we're done there. All right, get that, get that coal. We will need it. Uh, so we're still working on our science, but it's not good at all. I mean, we tried, but we're just like we're on par with Gandhi and Cyrus. Everybody else basically kicked my ass in terms of science. Boost for electricity, nice. Uh, yeah, get a university there. And there. Alright. Uh, let's keep trading with Samaria. They obviously have a lot of uh, research. Okay, we can't, can't do that. Sure, I'll, I'll take economics. Uh, Alright, yeah. I'm willing to pay a little bit if that helps me catch up slightly quicker. Brazil. Okay. I guess the one with Brazil might still be going? I don't know. Let's see, what else should we get around here? We got pretty much all resources. We could cut down uh, this these woods. Just so we can free up some space for an extra farm. Right, so let's steal... Let's try and steal a scroll. The chances of success are actually like, they're pretty reasonable at over 60%. Alright, so we're building a navy, but like, we are 13 technologies behind Russia. So they will have everything, basically. Like, they, they're gonna have submarines. They're gonna have destroyers and aircraft carriers and Frickin' missile cruisers while we are stuck with frigates. Yes, please. Right, we got no room for riding. We got no room for art. That's definitely an issue. Uh, I got a shipyard. So basically this game, I think, is at this point really just kind of lost, um, unless we manage to, right, make Russia do something really stupid. You know, we, if we go to war and they start doing some real stupid stuff, maybe we can win. Um, but I, I, I just don't really see that happening at all. I just don't see it. I don't know how to proceed from here. We lost Jakarta. That's a bummer, because I think they're actually uh, quite good. Alright, let's get steam power for those better boats and more uh, embarkation speed. Right, so we got theater squares. We got a lot of uh, pretty good spots for that. Um, let's do it here, though, because this spot's pretty bad. We're going to need another art museum. To put our art in. Or more writing. Like, we gotta figure out how to get more writing. I think universities maybe provide 
Actually, they don't. You need just amphitheaters and possibly something else later. We got the Apadana. Pedro, my man, you want to get more friendship? Yeah, that's what I thought. You also want to give me some great works that you have? I believe you do. Come on, dude. I'll give you 10 gold. Okay, I guess he's just kind of kind of done. Maybe his advisors told him that I totally ripped him off earlier. All right, boom. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, we got a field cannon there. We don't have upgrades for the pikemen yet, and I know that Russia must have like infantry already running around everywhere. See, they got infantry, they got helicopter armies, artillery armies. If they decide to go to war with anybody, that person will die, and it doesn't matter. Like legit, it does doesn't really matter. The only one that might stand a chance would be Brazil, but Brazil has zero army. They don't have a single unit. So they would be a pretty easy target for me, but they're my ally and, you know, I can use them. And I'm not super afraid of them beating me because I'm second in culture, not Brazil. Right, let's, uh, let's try something else. That's a good deal. Sure, I'll take that. I mean, you're an idiot. Russia declare war in Persia. Okay, sorry Gandhi, that's gonna have to be a no for me. Uh, if we could get more deals with, with uh, Peter, that would be nice. Just gotta make him glitch out a bit and cheat. <laughs> Cheating is the only way. Peter declared war on Cyrus, Jakarta, Kabul. Uh, Peter made Estadio do Maracana. Don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. Hey Peter. What's going on, dude? Listen, I was just thinking, how about you give me all these wonders and I'll give you a piece of coal. No, you're not feeling it? Yeah, he's not feeling it. Offer blocking deal. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> maybe, just maybe. We'll, we will not be able to make a deal. Offer blocking deal. What does that mean? Give me Moscow for, for some horses. So he'll basically never accept this, is what that's saying. Okay. What? I'll give you... Alright, like, I might as well just make that deal. Try to get closer, right? Nine gold per turn isn't that bad. Gotta be honest. Alright, so you need... Same era, different sieves. Ancient artifact. So I can't move it. So this is all like bugged out still. Like it is, it, it, it's a full museum. So I should be able to move it, but I, it, it, you know, I'm not. So the game is just bugging out. I feel like this whole game that we're currently playing is just all bugged out. I'll take nuclear program. I'll take fascism. All right, let's see. So we got a lot of uh, a lot of options available. Um, cavalry. Where's the navy? Here we go. I'll take the navy one. I will take, sure, a bit of extra science, and then I'll take that one. So this isn't going to pay off straight away, but eventually this will allow us to build a really big army. It's going to cost us a lot of money, 
Well, actually, not even that much, but, you know. We'll just keep working on that. Sumeria made a spaceport. The number three, in terms of science, made a spaceport already. What the hell? Oh, wait, I think, okay, we were trying to steal that scroll, but instead, we just kind of bought it. Which honestly isn't that, that bad. All right, let's see. Um, Canberra could make... Let's make more, make more frigates. Make more frigates. We can make them like super fast now. Uh, let's steal a, a technology boost. So one thing that we could do is try and go after Persia City. So at least we got more stuff in that area because currently we have nothing and nobody likes them anyway. So no one will hold that against me, I think. If we just take Tushpa and then Uruk, I think we're going to be good, at least as far as other people are concerned. Like, it's not going to win us the game. But, you know, people are not going to try to kill me for doing that, I think. So we just got to see how strong his navy is in the area. Uh, if it's really strong, it's not going to work. Again, because we're much too far behind. But uh, I'll try. Which is really all I can do. Also, we got to upgrade our um, caravels to ironclads, which will put us a little bit closer to the enemies in terms of uh, military strength. But still, it's going to be pretty garbage. Right, so we got a pretty strong army. We are about as strong as Persian now. Let's just wait here. So we'll just collect our navy off the coast of Adelaide until it's time to go. We got two more frigates on the way. Yeah, we can build a massive navy with our current um, policies and everything. And for every frigate that we make, we get an extra one. So we can build a massive navy in like no time. Thing is that they're like really outdated, so... It's not looking too good. All right, let's go and go. And this guy needs an upgrade. All right. All right, we have an admiral who we can finally put to good use now. Uh, Canberra should probably make. Like, what can we really do? Uh, let's do that frigate thing one more time. Sure, let's do that. Let's form a whatever that is. Is it a fleet? Yeah, it's a fleet. So you got normal fleet and then armada. It's bugged out. Why? What the hell's going on? All right, look, I need you in Brisbane, though. I guess we can move him to Townsville and, like, see if we can trade from there. It wouldn't be horrible to do that, but okay. I think something broke when... I think I started this game shortly before a big update. And I've seen it happen where an update will really, really mess up a game. And this appears to be uh, an example of that. All right, let's get... We'll get another fleet. Uh, upgrade. Oh. Ironclads. All right, so we'll get some more ironclads because those are actually good. Oh, here we go. I was looking for that pretty hard. Um, Sure, let's go with that. Sure, make a shipyard. Make a shipyard. All right, so we got one fleet ready to go. Let's send them up there. All right, keep trading. Admiral, join your, your men. All right, let's do that. And then go like that. 
Like, we can easily just make fleets. Basically, when we're making a normal boat, we're making a fleet because we can just sort of add them to one another. Uh, why can we not trade with anybody? Like, we should easily be able to trade with Kazan or Soul or something like that. Oh, well, back to Hobart. Oh, it was supposed to be Brisbane. Oh, well. That just means that we waste one turn for no reason. All right, universities are about to be wrapped up. What is that? It's a nice little ironclad. So we'll make some more ironclad fleets. There you go. Right, we got a caravel here, so we could actually make an armada, I think. All right, factory. All right, so I'm just gonna stick you to those um, ironclads. The frigates will also form a fleet. There we go. That's much better. Like it's just much less clutter, and it, they're better. Why would there be no destinations? Oh, we're at our limit. That's why. Ah, now I get it. It's because we switched from a merchant republic to fascism. Turns out that that's not a great idea when it comes to your economics. Fair enough, I say, but still. Would have been nice to be able to trade that much again. Persia switched to, uh, oh, Russia took Pasargadeh. That's his capital. That's going to be the end of um, Persia. We, st we still have knowledge of lasers. It's not even the 1800s yet. We got knowledge of lasers. All right, I'll, I'll grab that. But we're like, we're really far behind still in terms of our science. And I've been trying to get to like do better and like fix stuff, but it's just not really working. All right, let's get more ironclads. Let's check this out. The fleets are ready to go. Are they going to be able to do much? Probably not. But at least we've got a somewhat respectable navy now. In fact, I'd say we got a very respectable navy. Jesus Christ. All right, Brazil's finally starting to make a bit of an army. Uh, let's steal more science. That's always a good idea, I think, when you're this far behind. And, okay, we caught up to um, Persia, at least. But we're still so far behind. This sucks. All right, anyway, guys... I'm going to leave it here for now. In the next part, we're going to see um, what's going to happen to Persia. If they get to keep Tushpa, we'll go after that. Their armies are super weak right now. And if we can swoop in and steal one of these cities, that would be pretty nice. Um, because then we'll have sort of a base of operations in the area. Uh, but we'll just have to go and, and see how that's going to end up. We're not really catching up to Peter in terms of tourism. That's going to be real hard to do, but we'll keep trying. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.